Hi guys, so this is a, um, I don't actually know what this is, it's a Rattler 2 go-kart that um, a couple of friends of mine have. Uh, one of my friends has a YouTube channel called The Bear That Shoots, you should go check that out. And another one is Couch Potato Customs, and he might be adding some videos about this to his channel as well. But right now, what we're trying to do is get the carburetor so that it works and runs. Like right now, it'll run off starter fluid. You spray some starter fluid in the... You spray some starter fluid in there. And then pull it. Wow, so that worked way better than expected. It just kept running and running, and I had to kill the throttle with that, um, this right here. I had to put it back because it was just went to full throttle because the throttle cable's broken. But my work seems to be done for me. The, the carburetor obviously works because it just ran great. A little bit unexpected there. This is the amount of rubber that got burned off the tire when I had to hold it back with my hand. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna try and tie up the throttle cable. It's sort of in an interesting place because when you pull the throttle cable, it's supposed to do that to open up the throttle, but it doesn't spring back. So, it just won't return. Like, you can floor it, but then it'll be floored permanently and you can't let off the gas, which is not such a safe thing. So, some point I get, I'll get right to that. For now, this is the end of our video. I know it was pretty short, but I was planning for it to be all about cleaning a carburetor. Um, I'll work more on the throttle cable some other time. Actually, scratch that idea. I'm going to take the carb off anyways, cause, and clean it, because, um, I just tried to run it again and at, like, you know, a normal speed and idle it, and it doesn't idle very well. So I'm going to see what I can do. All right, so I got the carb off the go-kart. It wasn't that hard. And so basically our problem is, unless it's at full throttle, it doesn't run real great. So we're going to take it all, all apart and uh, spray the, all the jets out with this carburetor cleaner. Right after I find a screw. So I got a quite a selection here of screwdrivers. Um, tools are always... Uh, they're hard to find because I don't know where anything is here. It's not like my shop to just come and people move things too. Like, so this is my only flathead screwdriver. It's a little tiny stubby little thing. I got four different sized Phillips heads. So let's see what we got here. I think the first step is, uh, I use my vice grips on the other thing. Well, these vice grips aren't as good, but I found another pair. Oh man, that's fine. Let's see, how am I gonna hold the camera? It'd be nice if I had like a spot to prop it up. Oh. You guys can see, right? So. Just loosening this bolt here right now. Mm. Let's 
so this is the float bowl. Seems to be moving fine. Um, I think in here is the main jet somewhere. Let's see. Is that a flathead? Or I can do the secondary jet that's right here first because that's easy. Oh man, this flathead's not big enough. I wonder if I can use some needle nose pliers. Nope. Be right back. Okay, so I cheated. I used a drill, but you get the idea. I wanna get this bolt out, and it's a jet. I don't know if you can see, but gas is supposed to go right through there. It looks pretty clear, actually. Um, so I think that one's good. And I'm gonna leave it out for now. Maybe put it in the bowl down here so that I know where it is. Um, so, what I did before, and I'm not going to do now because I already did it, is you can slide this little pin out here, and the float bowl comes off, and you can spray all underneath here. Um, clean out everything in there. Don't think there's any jets in there. Didn't see any. Although, you know what? Maybe I'll just take it apart again. Show you guys and to check and see if there's any jets that I missed. And this little needle valve that's hanging on the end of there is very important. Make sure that's clean. So... Make sure to spray into all the little tiny places. Um, I'm gonna do it right now. That's looking pretty good. Now what I'm just going to do is gently lift that back in and make sure the needle of the valve is seated properly. Let's see, there we go. Slide that little pin back in. Come on. There we go. Give it one last spray down. So I think we got that end pretty much good. I can put back the float bowl. We're not going to be taking it off again. Oh! See, look at that. You got to be careful. That's why I put this in the float bowl. So that before I put it back on, you can see this. Can you still see through this? Yes. But I might spray in that hole anyways. So what I was saying is I just, I put that little jet in the 
the bowl so that I wouldn't forget to put it back in. And I almost did. Kind of silly of me. Hang on, I'm gonna go cheat again. Use the drill very gently. All right, now I can put the float bowl back on. Make sure that little gasket stays in there. See, it's sort of coming out a little bit. Push it in and compress it so that we don't leak any gas. All right, now we can go ahead and get all the other stuff. The idler screw is fine here, but I'm gonna take out this other Phillips head screw. I don't know what that goes to. Uh-oh. Thought I was turning that, but I'm not. I'm stripping it. Uh, I gotta get a better screwdriver. There we go. Now that I got that screw out, I'm gonna spray in there. This isn't a jet, it's just a screw, so I can just put it back. I think we're pretty much good to go. Spray around in there and check around for any other jets always. Might have missed. Spray in the intake. And all the little nooks and crannies. That is one clean looking carburetor. I think we're good. Now the only other thing I need, which I didn't mention, because it's not it's not related to uh, cleaning it in any way, is this um, throttle. Um, supposed to return to the idle it doesn't have a spring on it so when you give it gas it'll just stay there which is not safe I said that before sorry okay um i'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the go-kart now this is actually the end of our video because um now, I actually did the thing I wanted it to be about, the carburetor cleaning. Hopefully, it makes it run better.